Hello, I'm Rear Admiral Kevin Slates and I'm the director of the Navy's Energy and Environmental Readiness Division. As we've begun getting into our routine for the new year, I've been thinking about what I can do and hoping you and your command have ideas for what we, the Navy, can do to use energy in the smartest way possible in 2013. For specific reasons why, consider the fact that last year increases in petroleum prices created a $500 million increase in fuel costs for the Department of Navy. That's a half a billion dollars that could have gone to maintenance, new equipment, or training if we had an affordable alternative to fossil fuels or were efficient enough to avoid using that fuel in the first place. Many of us in the northeastern United States were affected by Superstorm Sandy last fall, which knocked out power to millions of people for weeks, reminding us how dependent we all are on the commercial power grid for our basic comforts and to support our missions in the Navy. To really be ready as the CNO asks us all to be, we need to use less fuel and energy to perform our mission and renewable or alternative energy sources both afloat and ashore to help us keep the mission going when we see large fuel price increases or the electric grid goes down. I've learned that the best ideas come from the diverse experiences and thoughts of our sailors and civilians and we want to hear your great ideas on what we can do to reduce energy through our everyday actions. To give you an idea of what we've accomplished in the energy arena, I'll offer a few 2012 highlights. In July, we demonstrated the Great Green Fleet with the Carrier Strike Group's ships and aircraft powered by a 50-50 blend of biofuel and conventional fuels and deployed with some of our new energy efficient technologies during the Rim of the Pacific exercise in Hawaii. Large-scale solar energy farms on our bases from California to Virginia came online producing renewable energy. The Navy also reached agreements with two renewable energy developers in Texas, allowing new wind farms to be built while minimizing the potential for impacts on our radar and pilot training. This year we'll continue to build on our successes. We'll keep developing and deploying energy efficient technologies across the Navy, such as hybrid electric drives, stern flaps, and energy dashboards for ships. We're developing energy awareness courses for all personnel, and this year the Naval Postgraduate School will graduate the first class of officers with an energy master's degree. And when possible, we'll keep working with the communities and industry to allow renewable energy projects near and around our bases to proceed while protecting our training and operations. You already know how important it is to turn off lights and equipment when they're not in use. Pretty simple actions that really do reduce energy. Those types of small efforts and other behavior changes related to how we view and use energy across the Navy along with new technologies can make a big difference. We really need your help. New technologies take time and money to develop, test, and install. But changing our behavior and taking ownership of what we can do to save energy as individuals in the Navy in our daily jobs, just like we do at home, can make a big difference much more quickly. We need every sailor, civilian, and family member on our team to view energy as a vital resource that enables our combat capability and not something we just take for granted. So I'd ask each of you to think about what you can do and how you will think about energy differently this year. We'd love to hear your good ideas, both things that you can do yourself and those that we can help you with. Please send them to us online at the link you'll see below and I can assure you that we will review them. Thanks for listening and for your service in our great Navy, and I hope that you have a safe and successful 2013.